The T-95 was an American medium tank, developed from 1955 to 1959. It was developed as a prototype, and had many advanced or unusual features. In the early 1950s, the U.S. began development of a potential replacement to the M-48 tank, which was the operational medium tank at the time. Two submitted plans were chosen to proceed with, the T-95 and the T-96. Both tanks had smooth bore barrels with a fixed mount, and no recoil system. In November 1956, it was decided that nine tanks should be produced. Four of these would be original T-95s, and one would be a T-95 with a 90mm gun on a mount with a recoil system. The remaining four tanks would use the T-95 chassis, and the T-96 turret, which used a heavier gun. The T-95 had a traditional design, with a driver in the front, fighting compartment in the center, and engine compartment in the rear. It had a four-man crew, consisting of a commander, a gunner, a loader and a driver. The medium tank had silicious cord armor, a new transmission, and the Opter fire control system. The fire control system had an electro-optical rangefinder, mounted on the right side of the turret. It operated in conjunction with the 90mm T208 smoothbore gun. The gun had a rigid mount, without a recoil system. A hydro-pneumatic suspension was fitted, and one of the tanks had a solar Saturn gas turbine fitted. The early penetrators for the T208 gun had a low length to diameter ratio, due to their tungsten carbide construction. They did have a high muzzle velocity of 5,000 feet per second. The Opter fire control system emitted pulse beams of intense incoherent infrared light. The incoherent light beams reduced the system's effectiveness in mist and rain. It also had a vulnerable design of the transmitter and receiver, and the Opter system was abandoned in 1957. The T-95 was to be equipped with an X-shaped 750 horsepower 12-cylinder diesel engine. But since the engine was not ready yet, a temporary four-stroke, eight-cylinder AOI 1195 gasoline engine was fitted. The gasoline engine had a higher fuel economy than the engine of the M48A2, but proved to have insufficient torque. When the development of the X-shaped diesel failed in 1958, other options had to be considered. As a temporary solution, a modified version of a civilian 12-cylinder, two-stroke water-cooled V-type engine was used. This engine had 570 horsepower. Continental Motors Company was contracted to develop a new air-cooled diesel engine, and Caterpillar was contracted to develop a water-cooled diesel engine. However, testing of these motors began after the T-95 program was retired. During the testing of the T-95, it became evident that it would have no major advantage over the M48A2. The X-shaped motor and the fire control system were discarded due to poor performance, and the smoothbore gun was not accurate enough. On July 7, 1960, the T-95 program was retired.